The bankruptcy code is complex, and experience means everything. For more than a decade, DeLuca & Associates has helped tens of thousands of Las Vegans with their financial difficulties. We didn't start handling bankruptcies when the recession hit. We're a full-service bankruptcy law firm. We make the process simple for you. We get the credit reports, and we draft all the complicated paperwork so you don't have to. At DeLuca & Associates, your best interests come first. Call us at 252-HOPE. Let's bring out our next fight of the evening, starting with the blue corner, Paulina Granados. Let's bring out the red corner. Yeah, my name is Jordan McDonald, and I'm fighting out of Robert Drysdale Jiu-Jitsu um, and Extreme Couture. Well, when I started training, I started in Muay Thai kickboxing, but not long after that, I started training in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So um, I like to think of myself as a really well-rounded fighter. I'm prepared to go wherever it, wherever the fight goes. Most of my fights end in ground and pound. First, I want to thank my coaches, Gil Martinez, Robert Drysdale, and Dennis Davis, and also the guys over at Cobra Kai, um, and then my sponsors, um, Ranger Up, Fight Chicks, The Gun Store, Pure Form Supplements, and I think that's it. <laughs> Jordan McDonald. South Point Arena here in Las Vegas for more Tough Enough, the future stars of mixed martial arts. We have got a female contest at 110 pounds. You see walking in there right now, Jordan McDonald, four and two, fighting out of Extreme Couture, gaining a little bit of notoriety in the Las Vegas area. 30 years old, decided to give up a budding modeling career in order to pursue a career in mixed martial arts. And she is trying to uh, take it to the next level and, and make it to the professional rank. Today in the women's 110 pound weight division, Introducing first in the blue corner with two wins and no losses fighting out of American Revolution MMA Corpus Christi, Texas Paulina Fire Fox Granados Standing in the red corner with four wins and two losses fighting out of extreme couture right here in Las Vegas, Nevada Jordan McDonald Referee in charge of the action is the Joe Sullivan Ladies, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Up until you stop, and must stop. Any questions? Any questions? Touch close if you want. Go back to your corner. Be ready to fight. We've got Jordan McDonald in the red and black, in the pink and white. That's the fire fog. Polina Granados with the Muay Thai like trunks. She's got the kickboxing background, the Dutch background. Jordan, again, you mentioned. Drysdale Jiu Jitsu. Could this be an old fashioned turf war? I look at the combinations there. The McDonald obviously has the height advantage, but she's oh. right over with the outside trip. Great work from Granados, who's now inside control. I was going to say, see if McDonald wanted to use that height to stay on the outside and pepper her opponent with strikes. She did not. She came inside, and she's paying the price right now. McDonald using that left leg to stop Granados from mounting her. Now Granados working from side, content for the moment, but she was looking to step over moments ago. Credit to McDonald. I have not seen her hips hit the ground yet. That takes a lot of core strength. She's trying to prevent the pass. And she's working towards. It looks like she's trying to slip out the back side if she possibly could. That's absolutely what she's trying to do. Granado's just trying to control, hasn't been able to do a lot of damage yet, but we're one minute in and she spent the majority of this round in top position. That is so key when it comes to the scorecards and with a round that has a duration of two minutes. Controlling position can be everything. You see McDonald getting that right leg, trying to sneak it under the chin, attack the arm of Granado, showing a lot of flexibility as she looks for offense. And while it is an offensive move from the bottom, she's giving away the dominant position. Granados looks very content to just kind of ride from the top right now. 
Judges will often score top position if the action does not look too heightened as dominant. You gotta have an active guard, you gotta be looking for the escape. Something from the bottom out of McDonald's where she's about to watch the first round go away. Now Granada's punch is away. It looked like you know, she may have been trying to attack that arm, the far side arm, but didn't get it done. McDonald now back to her feet. She got 10 seconds to do something special. Instead, she falls on her head as Granada controls the neck on the takedown. McDonald's gonna finish this round in top position. I gotta say, McDonald was being offensive from underneath, but not close enough to get anything done. I think you've gotta award the positioning of Paulina Granados in that one. I've, I've got Firefox taking the opening round. Absolutely, I'm gonna go back to the adjective that I've been using all night, and you'll see it here. Effective aggression. McDonald was doing stuff from the bottom, nothing really effective. That's why she stayed there. That's why she was controlled from this trip forward right there. That was where the round went into the pocket of Granados and stayed there until the bell rang. The good news for McDonald, she's got two more rounds to turn it over. Absolutely, she just does not want to end up in that position again, or if she does, obviously, she got Robert Drysdale in there coaching her what to do next. She's got to get out from underneath. Again, it looked like Granados may have been attacking that right arm, but just couldn't see how close it was. John, you've been naming people like Drysdale and Couture at different camps and stuff. People watching the sport may be new to the sport. Explain to the details of, even though this is a one-on-one -on -one sport inside the cage, you're bringing a team, it's a team and Absolutely. individual Absolutely, it's those coaching staffs that are putting you through the motions and the staff, and that's what makes it so great here at Tough Enough. Round two underway. Big shots from both to open. McDonald again looking to get inside. I love the style differential we're seeing. Granados has a more efficient striking style, but she's dealing with physical offsets with the height and reach of Jordan, and it's making it hard for her to do what she's comfortable doing. Yep, completely correct, Ryan. Again, you know, thought McDonald might want to try to use the link to her advantage, but the quickness of Granados and those punches right up the middle, she's able to negate the reach disadvantage very easily. She's got physical attributes like that that work in her favor. The problem is, is that's a game that doesn't play to her strength as much as it does to Granados. And hence, we end up with a grappling session. That's right, clenching up against the cage. Obviously, not always the most exciting uh, position for fans, the casual fan that doesn't know a lot about the sport, but there's a lot going on here. You can hear the coaching coming from McDonald's, uh, from McDonald's corner, wanting her to get her back off the cage, to drive knees inside, to stay busy again. She's finding herself in not a terrible position, but not a great position. She does have the left arm wrapped around the neck. She is the taller fighter. She might actually be able to, to finish that. Oh no, the head pops out right away. She, McDonald's not in a bad position, but it's not an advantageous position. But when your back is against a cage, presumably you're not the one in control. Absolutely not. No. And Granada's making that stay that way as they're right overhead here. Those two handsome gentlemen on the monitor, that's us. <laughs> or you. <laughs> <laughs> Granados again controlling from the outside. Again, McDonald does not look entirely uncomfortable here, but she's giving away time and positioning and points. When well, actually pushes Granados against the cage. But unfortunately, again, with 10 seconds left, I don't know how much she's gonna be able to do. A takedown would help her. McDonald trying to flurry in the end. Granados just staying tough throughout this fight. I like when you see something that you expect. Granado's coming in with the influences of a guy like Maurice Smith. And you see the striking style, reminiscent of a guy like Maurice Smith. You also see things that he's not a fan of. Maurice Smith's not a fan of the closed guard working off your back on the ground. He likes to see action. You hear right here, you see Granado's doing that, striking faster and in flurry. Yeah, Granados is a lot quicker with her hands and feet on the feet. Uh, she throws punches in combinations. McDonald is okay, maybe even a little bit stronger inside. I, I could look at that round as a 10-10. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot to store in there. Personally, I think Granados probably took the round again on just basing uh, control against the cage and controlling the position. If a judge wanted to go 10-10, I wouldn't have a real problem with that because there wasn't a whole lot to score. But I, I think it's probably Paulina Granados up two She's rounds and one right now. I would agree with that. I think the first round, Granados. I think second round could be a close tied round. Could have gone either way. But I think, again, control was the key. Position. And that's what probably put her up two to none. But again, if you're in the corner of Granados, you gotta be looking at this third round like you own it. Having some hair restraint issues here is Paulina Granados. I don't know if that had anything to do with 
the delay getting into the cage. We still haven't gotten an official word on that. Third and final round. Two minutes left to decide who's gonna walk away with this one. Granados in the pink and white, Jordan red with black. Extremely familiar position thus far in this fight. McDonald wants to get inside, it's obvious. She continues to move in and clinch and move the fight to this position, but once here, she has trouble dealing with Granados. Whether it be the leverage of the shorter opponent, whether it just be the strength, I'm not sure, but Jordan McDonald has not been able to get comfortable in this position, although it's obvious it's where she wants to be. I like when you see someone who knows how to assess the situation and adapt to it. Granados knows she's faster and more efficient at striking. She also knows she has physical things that are getting in her way, like the reach and strength of Jordan, so she's working from the inside. She's taking that inner real estate and she's running with it, and that's why she's winning the fight. Yeah, again, we said round one was pretty clear. Round two, not so clear. Jordan McDonald, you know, a big takedown here, so something special on the feet could at least make it interesting. Maybe uh, salvage a draw, perhaps, maybe even take a win if you thought she took the second round. But she needs to do something, because thus far, Granados has been in control of the fight. Yeah, she'd have to come in assuming the third round was fair game with the way the second went. He right there, yeah. front kick, Granados couldn't even get in range with that shot. But she hasn't had to deal with that the whole night, Granados. She's been inside compliments of Jordan. Yeah, I think Jordan made a tactical mistake early on by not using that length a little bit. That Those front kicks, while maybe not knockout blows, can at least you know, set the range and set the timing. But again, McDonald's staying busy in the tight clinch. She's the one pressing in. This is going to be another very, very close round here. It probably will be, but yeah, I mean, you nailed it. The bottom line is if someone's trying to get inside, you gotta make them pay for that real estate. Don't just give it away. A nice trip here at the end could be big for McDonald's. Not gonna come. That's it. Three rounds in the books. McDonald, Granados. Who's getting the W? Yeah, I mean, uh, neither fighter looks extremely happy with the way the fight went down, and I think understandably so. It happened so much in the clinch. Um, I, I've got to think Granados, I mean, you could possibly make a case for McDonald in that third round. Granados slowed down a little bit, didn't really land any, you know, real technical strikes. Uh, Granados was the one that was had her back up against the cage for quite a bit in that, in that final round, so you could maybe make a case for the third round. Even the inside knees being exchanged here on a lot of those occasions, Granados was coming up just enough short to do enough damage with those knees because of the physical differences between the two. You have to, when you have an opponent, know your strengths and your weaknesses. Jordan had some physical advantages, in my opinion, she simply did not tap into until it was almost too late. Yep. I wouldn't be shocked by any score, but I think Renata should take it. Justin Bernard won't be shocked, he's got the paper. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of combat, we have your winner by split decision, the blue corner, Paulina Firefox Granados. Granados gets the win somewhere, someplace. Maurice Smith is smiling. <laughs> we are going to take a very quick intermission. Give you time to check out our sponsors, get something to eat, something to drink, and we'll be back here real soon. So split decision win for Granados. It was tight, just like we said. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more of the future stars of mixed martial arts. Well, it was kind of hard at first because uh, I missed half of the rules meeting, and apparently it's um, against the rules to wear contacts in Las Vegas. So I had to take my contacts out, and I've never trained without them. And my perception was a little messed up, but I went in there, got down to business, and used my instincts, and I came out with the win. So. That was good. <laughs> it's annoying to me because I like to, you know, it's like, come on, bring it, you know, show me what you're about. And clinching, I'm like, oh, okay, I got to I gotta wrestle with you. I got to take you to the ground. But, you know, if, it's, if that's the way it's going to go, then I was ready for it and I was ready for anything. You know, I, was, I was a little disappointed in my performance, but I, I still got the win, so I'm happy, happy about that. Uh, I can't wait to come back and, you know, fight whoever is next. You know, hopefully I'll get a shot at that title. So, 110 title holder, watch out because I'm coming. Fight fans, are you ready for a war? 